Live from Blandview, it's your Channel 3 News family. Your anchors, Meredith Waters and Roger Gravett. Our trusty weather woman, Dallas Bloods. Field reporters, Kent News and Allison Ranieri. And in charge of Blandview Sports Center, Boris the Football Johnson. Channel 3 News, your number one local station for useless small stories that only make you feel like your neighborhood is completely unsafe. Are you silly bunny? Oh, and we're back! Roger, did you have a nice commercial break? Well, any day I get to stare into your eyes is a good day to me. Oh, you! <laughs> Ooh, have you been working out? Oh, oh, come on now, we have to do the news. Okay, you go first. No, you go first. No, you. Okay, a headless dead corpse was found in the bottom of the well early this morning. Officials say the body has not been identified, but it was 100% strangled. And in other news, a new report finds that puppies are cuter than babies. To me. Hi everyone, we are going to be experiencing some high speed winds this weekend going counterclockwise, specifically in this area and this area, which will also lead to some heavy rain and sleet in this area and this area as well. So we really want to be paying attention to these two areas this weekend. Oh. Wow. And obviously in these specific areas, we'll really want to be paying attention to the ice on the roads while driving. Um, sorry, Dallas, I don't know how to tell you this, but um, I... It looks like boobs. Uh, pardon me? You drew boobs on the screen. It's, uh, it's boobs. You are a sick pervert, Roger, and I will come for you! <laughs> Dallas. Just a little technical snafu. It's yeah. not really boobs. Let's check in with our field reporter, Kent, who's on the scene at the Blandview Strawberry Parade. Hey, Kent, can you explain to us why the hell this is a thing? Well, Meredith, the Strawberry Parade has a long history here in Blandview, and as it turns out, the strawberries don't even walk in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kent. And how is the turnout this year? No one is here, Meredith. Okay, okay, sorry folks. It seems like maybe there's a little bit of a lag here. No, I don't think so, Meredith. I have great signal. Today in major Blandview sports news, we got the Bulls playing the Lakers. Canyon Elementary School, here at the Division II soccer field for ages six and under. It has been an absolute bloodbath. Timmy Mathis has already taken a potty in the cooler twice now, earning him a red card because as we all know, round these parts the cooler is for orange slices and Capri Sun only. Rest in peace, Dunkaroos. Next up in local news, what's up? Craig, are you kidding me? We have no local sports news. Great, cool, no, fine. Today in personal news, a dog has been found in my yard, humping my birdhouse. Let's pull up the stats. As you can see, the dog got a few pumps in my mailbox before making his way down the field to the birdhouse in the third quarter of my shower. Going to Allison now for our live traffic report. Thank you, Roger. Today on Summerlin Street, cars are backed up in bumper to bumper traffic due to a pigeon giving birth. The pigeon was on the sidewalk, but everybody parked their cars in the middle of the road to see what gender the baby was. Now, Allison, I'm so, I'm so sorry. Um, you said giving birth. Was this a live birth from a pigeon? How is that possible? I don't make the rules, Meredith. I just report them. After 64 years, the Blandview Library is closing due to budget cuts. In an interview with the librarian, Libby Resnick, she said, I hid the money in my mouth. It's all there in the back of my mouth right now. Uh, oh, sorry, folks. It sounds like we had an error with the teleprompter there. No, we did not. Gonna be a crazy storm this Sunday, starting up north and then spreading as it goes more south, causing this interesting cone pattern that you see here. That's a poop, Dallas! You drew poop on the map. <laughs> and Kent, we are still waiting to hear the answer to that question we asked 15 minutes ago. How many people are enjoying the strawberries at the parade? No one, Meredith. I'm the only one here. 
Next up, the latest victim of the Blandview Strangler has been identified. 34-year-old Jeff Chandis was found at the bottom of a well, apparently dumped there by the Blandview Strangler himself. Witnesses describe the suspect to a police sketch artist, and officials are urging anyone who's seen this person to report them to the police immediately. Gee, Meredith, uh, that person looks an awful lot like you. Dozens more remains have been left to be identified. Now back to the weather. Coming through the weekend, we're going to have a lot of cumulus clouds rolling through in a very oddly specific pattern, which hopefully means we'll have some sunshine here in Blandview. Uh, yeah, that certainly is an oddly specific pattern. <laughs> and yet, uh, Dallas don't mean to do this to you again, but... Um... What is it now, Meredith? What do you have against the weather? Huh? It's science! Science is real, Meredith! We're going to talk about this in the break room, Meredith! <laughs> Meredith! Back to you, Meredith. All righty, Kent is now live with the organizer of the Strawberry Festival to get the inside scoop. Kent? Thanks, Meredith. I'm here with Stuart, the event organizer. Uh, Stuart, what can you tell us about this festival? Uh, well, uh, we've got the best strawberries in all of Blandview. Did you get a chance to try any? Is he, is he okay? No. It's, if you think it's boobs, that's your own damn problem. That's you your dirty own mind. Problem. Get your head out of the gutter, you, you pervert. Little pervert. You little pervert. You little tiny pervert. Shut up. Tiny pervert. <laughs> <laughs> And where's my goddamn nicotine gum? <laughs> Going to Allison now for our live traffic report. Yeah! Whoa! Yeah, then you just do like when we're just like clapping. <laughs> <laughs> 